Hello everybody and welcome to my 11th Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial uh, the coming few tutorials I'm going to show you how you can use uh, queries in your uh, databases. So a query just gives you a set of data from your tables um, and just presents it in a certain format um, and you can also use it to amend the data in your tables um, or create new ones entirely uh, but we'll come on to that later first of all I just want to show you how you can take data from your tables and just present them in a different format and uh, in order to do a query if you just go to create uh, and then I'm going to go into query design I'm not going to show you how to use the wizard because I don't think it's very good um, and generally you want to go into design anyway so let's go to query design uh, and then we need to add in the tables that we want to reference so I'm going to add in all three of my tables uh, and you'll notice that because I've already got my database relationship set up uh, it already links my item number into item number and it already links my user ID into user ID uh, if it doesn't then uh, if I just delete the links then you just need to the same way in your relationship you would in your relationship table just click and drag your uh, relevant um, your relevant uh, tables across uh, references across to each other uh, make sure you don't have any tables that don't have a reference like this because then your query just won't work um, so link them in all in like that uh, and then we pull up this section at the bottom which is uh, our fields that we want to put into our query. Uh, so similarly to the table design, each one of these fields uh, is going to be a kind of column in our query or, or field in our datasheet view of the query. Uh, so let's say we want to put in uh, all of our different things up here. So let's put in item name, item cost, uh, user ID, quantity, item number, sale date, username, user age. Uh, so this is going to give me all the different bits of information for my sale, uh, except it's going to, um, it's not going to be split out into different tables. So let's save down our query. So uh, all my sales, I'm going to call it. Press OK. You'll notice that it drops into this query section on the uh, navigator pane at the side. Uh, and then uh, let's just hide this so I've got some more space at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to close it down. Now I've now got this query here and if I double click on it it's going to run the query for me uh, and all of those different fields that I had in is going to pull through uh, and anywhere the uh, database links you're going to see so I've got my item number it's going to bring through the cost of the item number and also the name of the item. Um, and wherever I've got 1001, uh, it's going to have chocolate cake, chocolate cake. Uh, whether it's free, it's going to be drink, drink, drink. Uh, whether I've got two, it's going to be crisps, crisps, crisps. So it links in through those tables and draws all the information through for you. So this is where starting to get your table relationships right really comes into, it, into itself. Um, you can do quite a lot with these so I'm just going to, uh, for now that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the coming tutorials I'll show you how you can add criteria to them, how you can afford calculate, perform calculations on the field and also how you can get user queries to amend your tables. So, um, oh and also if you want the data that I'm using, uh, I've put quite a lot in there now then uh, I'll put a link in the description to my downloadable database file and uh, you can download the same database that I'm using on here. So that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.